What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hex, and today I'm going to show you how to install the new preview build of Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Nexus device. Google announced the new Nexus 6 and Nexus 9, and both of those devices will ship with the official build of 5.0, but that's at least a couple weeks off. So if you want to get a sneak peek at how the new operating system is going to look, you can install the preview build today. Back in June, a very early build of Android 5.0 was made available for testing purposes on select devices. But just today, a more evolved version of Lollipop has been posted. Today's release will run on the Nexus 5 and the 2013 Nexus 7. So if you have one of these devices and a Windows PC, the process is actually pretty simple. It doesn't matter if you're rooted or not, but you should be aware that you'll lose root and all of your data once you install this. To get started, there's a little prep work you'll need to handle on your Nexus. Basically what you do is go to the main settings menu, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and tap About Phone or About Tablet. From there, scroll down to the bottom again, then tap the build number entry seven times in rapid succession. This will enable a set of developer options on your device. Back out one level, then you'll see this entry amongst your normal settings, so head in there. After that, just tick the box next to USB Debugging, then press OK on the pop-up. With that all taken care of, go ahead and connect your phone to your PC using a good quality USB cable. A few seconds after you do that, you should see this message on your Nexus. Go ahead and tick Always Allow from this computer, then press OK. And don't worry if this message doesn't pop up directly after you plug your device in. At the very least, it should pop up at some point in this process, so just keep an eye out for it. But the rest of the work will be done on the PC, actually. The first thing you'll need to do here is download the Android 5.0 preview images. These can be found at developer.android.com slash preview, but I've got direct links for you over at the full tutorial, which is in the description right below this video. So head to this page, then scroll down just a little bit, and click the link next to your device. And the website seems to be acting up for me right now, so if you encounter any issues with the download link, try middle-clicking it or opening it in a new tab. From here, tick this box to agree to the terms and conditions, then click the download button. Next, copy the MD5 number just to the right of the download link. This will verify that your download is not corrupted, so keep that in your clipboard for later. Okay, so while that's downloading, it's time to grab the tool that we'll be using to install the images. It's an awesome program called Nexus Root Toolkit that'll do almost everything you need automatically. You get easy to read, easy to understand messages that'll walk you through the entire process. The website here is wugfresh.com slash nrt, and I've also got that linked out at the full tutorial. Just scroll down a bit until you find the download section, then use one of these links to grab the latest version. In the meantime, I'm going to skip ahead to a point when both of these downloads have finished. Alright, so with NRT and the Android 5.0 images downloaded, the next step is to install Nexus Root Toolkit on your system. So launch the EXE that just finished downloading, and depending on your setup, you may have to enter an administrator password at this point. But go ahead and click Run on this pop-up, then hit the Install button on this next one. At this point, NRT will ask you what device you have and what Android version is currently running. So select your device from this top menu. Then if you're not sure which Android version you're running, refer back to that build number in Settings that you tap 7 times. From here, click Apply, then you'll get a message telling you to enable USB debugging on your Nexus. We've done that already, but if you didn't get the Allow USB Debugging pop-up when you first plugged in your device, now would be a good time to check and see if the message has appeared. In this next part, the Nexus Root Toolkit will ask you to download several files. You can skip these downloads if you want to, but I'd recommend letting it grab any files that it may need. So once you make it to the Nexus Root Toolkit's main screen, the first thing you should hit up is this button right up top, Full Driver Installation Guide. And here, skip ahead to Step 3 and see what it says under Recommended Driver Solution. Mine says number 1, so I'll click the corresponding button down here. Then just go through Setup on this next screen to get all of your ADB and device drivers installed. Now with all that taken care of, we can go ahead and install the update. Head over here and click Flash Dock Plus Unroot. Click OK on this first window, then on the second window you'll need to make some changes. Tick the box next to Other Slash Browse on the option up top, then make sure the second option is set to I downloaded a factory image myself that I would like to use instead. When you press OK, you'll be shown a file browser menu. Use this window to navigate to your downloads folder and locate that image file that you downloaded earlier. Next, a window will pop up asking you for the file's MD5 number. That's the number that you copied from the official Android page, so go ahead and paste that in here. When that's done, the toolkit will let you know that it's about to flash the update. So go ahead and hit OK if you're ready for Android 5.0. This next part will take a good 5 or 10 minutes, but I've sped it up here. Don't panic if it seems to be stuck on one aspect of the install. Just give it a minute or two to get over the hump. When it's done, you'll get a confirmation dialog that you can go ahead and close out. 
At this point, it's safe to unplug your Nexus from your PC and start enjoying some Lollipop goodness. And I know this was a lot to absorb from one video, so if you'd rather follow along at your own pace, be sure to check out the full tutorial over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!